Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your girl Star and as for the title today, we are going to be doing the Light Up Face Mask. So the reason this doesn't have a name is because there are a ton on Amazon. I'm just going to link the one I bought below. So stay tuned. Before we get into the video review, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We're still trying to get 5,000 by the end of the year. But hey, if it doesn't happen, you know, it doesn't happen, but I really would like it to. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see all of the beautiful videos when they are there. Since my uh, upload time is very sporadic and all over the place, that's how I roll. So I like to make my videos short and sweet and to the point. Uh, continue to watch so we can give you some specs. Title of this, which is from a Korean brand or Asian Japanese something, this is called the Light Facial Beauty Instrument. It's a face mask and it looks like Freddy versus Jason. You can like chase people around for like Halloween and shit with this. It's got, I don't know if you can see, it's all these LED lights. All LED lights that change color. This light itself offers red light, blue light, green light, yellow light, purple light, green, blue light, and white light. Um, it's not that hard to understand. It comes with this keypad. This is how you will turn on the mask. So you will push power first, then you push on and off. That's going to turn on your light and then you push energy. Energy is going to basically brighten or dim the light if you don't want it too bright. These are for time. It automatically, this light starts you at, at 60 minutes, I believe. You can go down. I usually do 8 minutes to 10 minutes. I don't do any more than that. I don't think I need to. And the color button in the middle, you hit that and you'll see all the colors. The manual here, it will tell you what each light means and what it will do for your skin. I'm not going to read this because I didn't come here to read. That's your job. I'm just going to show you which ones I did, what they mean, and I did this in a span of four days. I wanted to do a week. I got super busy. I didn't have the time to record it. I could do a close-up on my face. That's fine. Um, stay in focus, please. As you can see, I do have a little foundation on because I did go to school today even though most of it's running off. You can see like my dark marks poking through, but not that much acne. I had a breakout here and here. This is when I wasn't using the mask. Sorry, I have crumbs I ate <laughs> before filming this. Um, other than that, you might have some, a little bit of texture, but most of it, um, my acne is under control with this mask. Please do not be lazy. A lot of people like to just use the mask and think it's going to solve your acne problem. It's not. Please stick to your morning and night routines as well as drink plenty of water because it helps skin all by itself. Water is very good for you. Um, let's get into my days of me using the mask. Hi guys, this is day one. Do not mind the room. I'm in the process of cleaning this place up. It's on my list. Whatever. <laughs> the blue light. For smaller repair skin and no scars and it pigmentation effects. It helps with all that crap. Oh, before we get started, I'm going to show you all of the pimples that are on my face. <laughs> see if you can see them. So here is a pimple that came out of nowhere. It was a big knot on my chin. It's got smaller, but I want to target that. Um, I've had a couple of breakouts here and there on my skin. There is texture. Not too much. Just in like the high high oil areas which are my forehead, chin, and cheeks. So I put this on for eight minutes and we will get back to the video. So I just finished my take. It was super easy. All I did was lay down. I even watched some TV. They recommend that you do this with your eyes closed. So I would recommend that to you. But to me, I can't just sit still like that for long periods of time. I have to keep doing something. So I watch TV while I do it and it passes up the time. Also, if you do have multiple or you do have more time, I would use 
multiple settings, not just blue. All right, we are on day two. I'm going to be using a combination today. It's going to be yellow and green light. Well, let's check on our improvements overnight and see what this actually did to the breakouts I was having yesterday. If you see, this was the big pimple I had yesterday. It's reduced a lot. Um, I still have some texture. This is where you get like little hair, so you get these bumps, more pigment. Here, I had a bigger pimple here. It's smaller, it's reduced by a lot. It's not really that much texture. Um, you still have my simple breakouts, and then on my forehead. Yeah, you can still see there are breakouts here and some texture. So we'll come back on day three and we'll see if anything else improves. Okay, so it's day three and I'm going to do another combination because I think it worked out so well. So uh, before I get into the, what I'm going to use for day three, let's look at the progress. See, this was the big knot I had. It's smaller. It's still there under the skin that it's smaller. You know, over here on the cheek, you can still see that it's some texture left, but everything has got smaller, less hard, and still little pimples there. That one is slowly starting to go away. Little pimple there. Hmm. Usually it's just texture. I'm seeing a slow progression. I'm thinking this is a thing you have to use over time and you still have to do your regular routines on your face as well. So this isn't a product you want to get lazy with because then you're not helping it work at all. You're just kind of hoping the light does all the work and that's not how it works. I'm going to do red and white light. You already know what red light is. It's for inflammation, high pigmentation. In the white light, it penetrates the skin deep. It uh, speeds up living tissue for your metabolism and it reduces the uh, appearance of fine lines and sagging skin. So you can never look too young. <laughs> so I'm gonna do both of those on, I believe eight minutes today and we'll see what the progression is tomorrow. Hi guys, this is day Four, I believe. Sorry, I'm trying to make this quick. I was busy all today, and I know I have to film this for you guys, so I'm gonna get the four day in there. I'm gonna do this for a week, so we can see what the difference are. If you can look, this is me in natural light, and I can already see a lot of difference. I literally just come in the house and wash my face because I was sweating, but I don't really put anything on it, so let's see what my problem areas were. You see where that big pimple was? It's basically almost gone like some texture there it's like little things here and there but nothing too bad you know a little different textures here and there I haven't done my facial yet so this could be just because I didn't do my facial probably need to do some scraping to see if there's anything in those pores to make it even flatter than it already is forehead you know is looking super shiny and, you know, just the texture. The one thing I really want to work on a lot is hyperpigmentation because that's the most problems I have. But other than that, the skin is smooth. Draw to the back. But um, I'm going to do just the red one today for hyperpigmentation and acne. And I'm going to do that for eight minutes. And we'll see the difference tomorrow. All right, that is it for the video. I don't have any more to say. Thank you for tuning in for another video this week. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll have some more nifty things coming in the future. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please, and leave comments below. I do read most of the comments, and I do comment back. Most of the time, I don't have much to say, but hey. <laughs>